Babies might be the cutest things on earth, but some parents quickly realize the chaos they bring. From sleepless nights to never-ending messes, raising a baby can be more than they bargained for. Get ready for some laughs as we dive into parents who instantly regretted having a baby. An American mum of two became hysterical after walking into her bathroom. There, she discovered a wave of destruction that her children had left behind. While Jay Lynn had been cleaning and cooking on New Year's Eve, the naughty kids had covered the room in their mum's designer makeup and skincare collection. The damage was so bad that she was forced to throw everything straight into the bin. From fake eyelashes to expensive eyeshadow palettes and skincare products, everything went up and down. In one shot, Jaylin tries to rinse off a ruined bottle of LF makeup before being forced to simply chuck it away. This laugh-out-loud collection of photos shows just how quickly disaster can strike when children are left to their own devices. This little girl seems to be quite happy with the display she has made on the mirror and her new outfit made of shaving foam. Well, the good part is playing with shaving foam is a lovely activity for babies' skin and mind. It provides them with the opportunity to make marks, develop fine motor skills, and build strength in their fingers and hands. Mom and Daddy's mental health is another story altogether. Kids will be kids, and every parent arms themselves to the teeth and listens. Whenever a child is quiet, you know they are up to something. When one mom left dad in charge for one minute, she returned to find three-year-old Emily had covered her baby brother Ethan in peanut butter. You can tell this mom is not too worried about the little disaster. It will wash off in the tub after some scrubbing and soaping from dad. This video is a reminder not to take ourselves or the cute babies too seriously. Childhood ends too fast. What's the funniest mess your little ones have made while you weren't looking? Share your stories in the comments and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if this made you smile. These little ones had a great time dashing about and tossing toilet paper all over the place. They wrapped themselves up in it like mummies, made a pile, and did whatever they wanted while to burn their excess energy. Then, when we're done, the kids helped clean it all up. If the parents want, they could save the ripped up paper for some other activity so it doesn't go to waste. What would you do if your child did this to your car? This little girl decided to show just how much she loved her dad on Father's Day. And so, she inscribed, I love my dad, on her father's car using a screwdriver. Look at the love and pride on that toothless face. Adorable, isn't she? Well, if you want to show us your love, hit the big thumbs up sign. No tools required. There are many cute baby videos, and this one takes the cake. Bath time can be a real struggle for most ideal parents. And just when you think you've got it all under control, everything goes out of the window. Just look at these siblings who decided that bath time should be a shared experience and a fun and fail time, even when there was only room for one. Let's just hope that this cutest babies used the toilet first before hopping in the bowl. A dad who left his young daughter alone for 10 minutes to do some gardening returned to find a scene any competitive eater would be proud of. Aaron Weissall came in from the garden on Saturday afternoon to find his little girl Olivia smothered in yogurt and grinning like an angel. On the table, in front of the three-year-old, were the remains of 18 pots of Petit Filou. A quick check of the room confirmed the yogurts had gone into redecorating the walls. And when Aaron asked in disbelief if Olivia had eaten them all, the youngster proudly replied, yes. The little munchkin held up her spoon like Oliver Twist, as if to say, give me some more. This clip could easily be classified as a crime scene. That's not blood you are looking at, it's paint. While the mom of these naughty kids was taking a break from painting, her kids went wild and dragged paint all around the house. Sometimes kids love the inexpensive toys more than anything in the department stores. For example, cardboard boxes and sticks from the yard and bubbles. Kids love to follow or track the bubbles with their eyes as they float. It stimulates their brains and gets them up and using that built up energy. This is a great way to work on tracking and coordinating both eyes to follow bubbles horizontally and vertically. This type of tracking with your eyes is integral to developing eye-hand coordination. But look in this video, that's too many bubbles for any number of little eyes to practice on. The bubble bath is literally touching the ceiling, and the little rascals are calling their mother for appreciation. Just imagine the horrified look on the faces of this girl's parent when they walked in. Little Miss Art Collector was cutting out faces from banknotes to make a collage. Thankfully, these are 100 yuan notes which are worth about $14 each. But judging by this photo, this scissor-happy child cost her parents just over $300.
a woman shared a photo of the ruined cache lying on the table after her child's act of destruction. His is a moment most parents dread, finding your toddler covered head to toe in a pot of paint. Luckily, for two-year-old Aniston Farmer, her mom Victoria saw the funny side and decided to take a snap of the youngster and share it with friends. The mom of two had been feeding her newborn son when she realized the toddler had gone quiet. Knowing that Big Sister was probably up to no good, mom went to investigate. She found a little white statue with paint dripping off her blonde hair. Anyway, cleaning her was not an easy part. If you've ever had a parenting moment like this, give this video a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more hilarious and relatable stories that will keep you laughing through the chaos of parenthood. This photo is the perfect example of why you should never leave a two-year-old alone. And, especially not with a flat-screen TV and a tub of pseudocreme. If you do, you can't say much, really. The moral of the story is not to leave a kid alone with pseudocreme and TV. Big up to Twitter user Ben Murphy for posting the photo. He must have the patience of a saint. Watching a laughing baby is cute, but it gets funnier to watch funny baby fails videos of other people's children. These babies are doing hilarious things. This mom was in for the shock of her life when she caught her son shaving his and his younger siblings' heads. By the time she got there, the little rascals were almost bald. Hilariously, she calmly talked to them about their new haircuts while crying. Now is that time to try not to laugh at these funny babies? Have your kids ever given themselves or a sibling an unexpected haircut? Let us know in the comments, I'd love to hear your stories. Being a mom is not easy. Between keeping everyone fed, clothed, cleaned, and happy, you really can't catch a break. And when you do, something is bound to go wrong, and that's really all it takes. One quick moment with your face turned away and all hell breaks loose. You think they've mastered the art of pooping on their own, and then they end up in a toilet. Classic, you may end up doing a funny baby clean with a smile. An envelope with $1,060 in it went missing in the Belknap household in Holiday, Utah. Ben and Jackie Belknap had been tucking money away to pay for University of Utah football season tickets, and they finally had enough. But the envelope was nowhere to be found. As Ben dug through the trash, Jackie made a stunning discovery. The money had been slashed to ribbons in the shredder. Immediately, they knew that their two-year-old son, Leo, was responsible. Oops. The couple reported that Leo believed he was being helpful by shredding the envelope that had been lying out of sight and out of everybody's mind. Kids and pets have an unbreakable bond and a mutual taste for mischief. This little girl, that we named Honey, definitely had a secret agenda when she innocently asked her parents for a cup of milk. After dumping the milk on the floor and calling in the cats, Honey decided to get down and help lick the stuff up. Maybe this was her ticket to staying in the kitty clan. I am sure she reserved a high position. There's no doubt that toddlers are capable of making some serious messes. The latest viral video making the rounds on YouTube shows a truly epic mess made by two boys with a bag of flour. The video starts in a flower-coated hallway and moves to the living room. There, the mom finds the floor, both couches, and even picture frames covered in flour. The fact that the flower appears so uniformly distributed is the first suspicious thing. The second is that the toddlers, aged one and three, seem completely unfazed at being caught by their mom. The woman who uploaded the video insists it was not staged. Either way, we're betting the work involved to clean up the mess was very tedious indeed. So what do you think? Was this an honest mess or did mom help stage this flowery disaster? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Look at this picture. Sisters Taya, who is five, and Alaya Neal, age nine, had fun frolicking in the mud. This was during the annual Mud Day event at Nankin Mills Park in Michigan. Every year on June 29th, International Mud Day celebrations happen all over the world. This is a way to connect children to the earth and soil and discover the messy joy that comes from playing in and with mud. The Ithaca Children's Garden in New York has been hosting a Mud Day celebration for the past eight years. This year's Queen's Crown went to 10-year-old Lily Alcala, a two-time muddy wrestler who goes to school at Livonia Public Schools. Tori Hamlin from Georgia had the shock of her life when she peeped into her four-year-old son Everett's bedroom one night. The little boy was fast asleep in bed all right. But upon closer inspection, Everett was tightly cradling his beloved pet goldfish. Tori gently woke him up and explained that the fish, named Nemo, had sadly passed away. Hmm, surrounded by, never mind. 
What do you do when you find your kids looking like this? You could give them a stern talk, or maybe even a time out, but not any funny reaction. But what if they're misbehaving in the most adorable way possible? Well, then all bets are off. One dad faced that dilemma when his two little boys thoroughly covered their faces and everything else in paint. The father comes on strong at first, in a video uploaded to YouTube. But when met with his boys' purple, green, and oh-so-bewildered faces in response, dad's resolve starts to crumble. Still, he tries to carry on. You guys have paint everywhere, the distressed parent tells them. What did you do that drove your parents nuts? Tell us on the comment section. And if you hit subscribe, you'll get all these hilarious stories every time we upload them. This mischievous toddler left her parents feeling blue when she got her hands on some bright face paint and transformed herself into a smurf. Three-year-old Eve Lott had been mysteriously quiet for just five minutes when her parents Juliet and Steve suddenly noticed a little blue flash whiz past them. After flipping and nearly spitting their hearts out, Mr. and Mrs. Lott recognized little Eve standing and giggling proudly at her handiwork. A two-year-old boy was rescued from a fallen dresser by his twin brother in an incredible moment caught on a security camera. The boys, Bodie and Brock Schaff, were playing on the dresser when it tipped over, pinning Brock underneath. The heart-stopping video shows Bodie trying to push the heavy furniture from both sides, but it doesn't move. He tries to lift it, but that doesn't work. Bodie then tries to push the dresser again and finally manages to move it, freeing his brother. There's a saying that goes, behind every young inventor is a load of broken household goods. That sweet sentiment is a pretty good summary of 